Right. Here we go, like Christmas all over again. We have the new Browning Maxes. I was shooting with the Maxes, but I was just shooting with the black uh, synthetic Maxes. Uh, but this one's a camouflage one, uh, and I wasn't expecting it to be a camouflage one. So I'm not quite sure what the, cam the actual camouflage is called. Right, the simple thing to do is take this out, try it, and see what we get up to. Uh, we've got three or four guys out today. Uh, we've got some uh, rape that they're hitting hard, um, but they're also going on some maze. Um, so I'm going to combine, um, I should be shooting up the side of a maze field, um, with just over the back of the, uh, the rape, where what they've been doing is they've been coming off the rape, over, landing on the field next to the maze, then going onto the maze, they're getting off the maze, going back onto the rape um, most of the day, so hopefully I'm going to intercept them between the two, two blocks. We'll just see that it's a very, very bright day, not a lot of wind about there, um, so we'll just head out there, have a little look round, and get started. Half to what we had. But as you can see, this is this is with the bit of right that they get on. They get on here, but they have a feed here. They go over the hedge in the background and sit on the land the other side uh, of those hedges up there. And that's where there's a piece of maize. And then they'll go and have a feed on the maize. Then they'll come back to the rape. Uh, so it's a bit like that all day. Because I've had a couple of goes at them on the rape, and two or three other people have had a go on the rape, they're obviously, as people know this time of year, get very rape shy or decoy shy on rape. So the idea today is we're going to be the other side of the hedge, so it's a different area which they haven't been shot at yet. Well, this is, this is looking at the, uh, the other side of the hedge. Uh, there's a field of uh, strip of maize. There's the field of winter wheat, which the pigeons are sitting on. As you can see up there now, there's pigeons swirling about there. And it's the other side of that hedge at the top there uh, is where the rape are. So they're coming off the rape, over the hedge, onto the field, onto the maze, then getting back up and going back over there and back onto the rape. So we're going to intercept them by keeping this side. Hopefully we uh, might trick one or two to come into the pattern. As you can see, that's where uh, I'm going to have a hide. Um, the fact is I've got bales and pallets there is uh, they were in, in the maze uh, as part of uh, my job on the estate. So they were here already, so it's just a matter of moving them about and making a... So I've got a good backstop. Uh, I'm going to stick the net out the front there and the wind, which is a sort of north-easterly wind, as we're standing looking out of the hide that way, the wind's going to be blowing across the front of us. So the pigeon's like this one here. Just coming through here, look. There he is, look. That's how, how hopefully, we'll have the pigeons coming in today. So all that's left to do now is get all the gear out, build the hide, put the truck down the bottom end of the field here, come back, and fingers crossed. Good boys. Um, well, this was a, a stand that Stuart made, uh, and it was something that we've been talking about for a while because 
the fact is, you, you know, you've got your gun up against the net all the time, especially when you're in a hide net, you've got your gun up against the net. So to cut all this problem out when you're trying to pick your gun up or that, you came up with a little, little simple device, hold your gun there. So whenever ever you want your gun, quickly, as you're doing a pigeon hide, you know, we're sitting down here like this, one of the pigeons sneaks in, you just grab it, off we go. So we came up with that, and on top of that, a little stand, you can put your cartridges, and today I could put my strepsils. Because they're probably by the tone of my voice, you'll probably see that uh, any normal person wouldn't be out here, but I'm not no normal person. So I've got my strepsils, got my phone, got my cartridges, and keys, we know where everything is. And later on, your cup of coffee will be going on there as well. So we're all sorted, half past 10, we've just, just literally got everything done. We've got the enforcer decoys, uh, we've got the, the shell decoys, we've got the full bodied decoys, uh, we've got the hide built. We've just got to sit down and wait now. The signs look good, but uh, sometimes that doesn't have to be looking good to work. Well, they can look good, but they don't work. So just now we've just got to wait and see if the pigeons like what they see, and then we can go from there. Yeah, there's a, there's a few uh, been coming over the hedge. They've been getting off the rape again. Um, we've seen a couple of big groups get off the rape uh, and swing up over here and sort of drift over and come over towards us. Um, so if they keep doing that all day, uh, it'll be nice. Uh, hopefully the farmer will be coming out on his rounds and put, you know, I've told him that we're here today. Uh, he might help keep them off the rape as well, but um, it's very early in the day, so we've just got to sit and wait and see. Not a bad start. First shot with a new Maxis, one kill. Perfect. Good start, first three shots, first three kills. Leave it, leave it. We've been here just over an hour. Uh, first sort of half an hour, three quarters an hour, is sort of very slow. We've probably shot half a dozen pigeons, but it's just getting to that middle part of the day when they're just beginning to get a little bit more. Um, we're that, getting that little bit more hungrier now, and I just think they switched back on again. So, fingers crossed, you know, we're in for a good afternoon. Oh, oh look at that one. That was out the top drawer, that one.
Oh, oh. Not the best uh, effort there. Just let them swirl around. There's too many up there. Uh, we've just got a little Mugberg 410 hush power. Uh, shooting some Ely, extra long car, just threw it. Uh, had it now for, I don't know, quite some time. Well, just over a, under a year. And just like to bring it out in the hide, you know, when they decoy like this. Um, just give it a go, give it a whirl out. Well, you can hardly hear the 410, so, you know. Now you can, I mean, it's, it's a hush power silence the gun, you can hardly hear it, so. So when you get them groups coming in like that, you know, and sometimes you can have a shot and the pigeons don't even know, especially in a wind like today, they don't even know that you, you're here, don't even know you've had a shot. So the, the rest of them just keep coming in. Oh. oh man, look at this lot here, look. Well, the time is now uh, just coming up for two o'clock. Pigeons really switched on around midday, and we've gone from struggling to get some in to I think now we must be pushing 130, 140 now. On this wind, been some fantastic sport. Um, they're just coming into the decoys and you just get up and they just flip and they've gone 20, 30 yards. And it's just been really good. We've still probably got about another hour of shooting to go. So if it keeps up like this, you know. And I can hit them. Um, we should end up with a really decent bag today. That's made up a bit, of, made a few um, cartridges up there, isn't it? Got two with one shot there, so clawed a cartridge back. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh.
right, I think that's about it. Uh, it's just gone up, just turned, well, come up to half past three. Uh, pigeons had really dropped off now, uh, so we've got a fair bit of work picking up what we've shot and then the cartridge cases, so uh, we'll call it a day. Hang on, hang on. No, we won't. No, we won't. We'll just change that. I think now we'll call it a day. On that note, nice little double there to finish, so we'll definitely call it a day now. Oh. Right, come on in, dogs. Come on in, George, come in. No, come in, come in, here, here. Get one out there. Good boy. George, get back. Go on, get back. Get back. Well, that's the end uh, to a truly memorable day today. Um, got the new Brown and Maxis camo Maxis, um, and it's just performed like the old one. Really nice. Got on really well with it. Um, the pigeons uh, were a little bit slow to start with. And, you know, up until about 12 o'clock, we were sort of, I was beginning to wonder whether I was in the right place, whether things had changed dramatically. But come just before 12 o'clock, someone switched a switch on and they just started coming in. And from 12 till half past two, uh, it was just non-stop. And we've amassed a, a, a wonderful bag here. Uh, using the Ely cartridges over the Enforcer decoys. Um, I don't really know what else to say, just that on this wind, um, which was a very, very cold easterly wind, um, I've just had some fantastic shooting here today. You know, really pleased with it. It's getting very close, James, very close. Gutted. And we're going to have to have a walk along that hedge there, I'm afraid. Because I'm full short of 200 there. So I'm just going to have to have a little walk and see if I can find two, uh, four more. Come on, dogs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. George, come on, Billy. Come on, here. Here we go, guys. 97, 98, 99, 200. One, two, three, four. 204, yes. Get in. I think that's christened the Brown and Maxis well and truly. Right. <laughs> 